you show my guy one of the journalists ah why a juman at chepa na only my juman a benjamin emmanuel efson dodona fn ben efson or a managing director uh, managing editor at the ma daily dispatch newspaper now heading towards the 2024 general election obia ahubwa e koso so the trust is called NPP and Ahubwa NDC and Ahubwa PPP CPP, which is Obia and Ahubwa. Now, and Chair, the Betray Mo and it's Alan Chairman Ten and so Movement for Change. It was a four. I dare say Alliance at Timia Koso or Ney Abu Sakara or more and a Omitimi and for the Alliance. Uh, I'm a former Alliance. Alliance, I'm a former just a Moka Mumabu. Now, just about to be close to 2024. No, we know. I think me a carbon. I dey ako about to announce na Oma go pi. Se gana fo. I bet to abano. I dey amam. So I say mo iba ye no. I na be bring na e kasa e chrese. NPP amu nyoko no dia lunch amanti ni na ansha na e nyan sun sun so. Boni e wo NPP amu nyoko no amu chance of winning. E so na no. I na benefit na kasa o chrese. Alan Chairman, the movement for change in India. I now have to alliance. I go for me on the who is say. I now they say, if you bet me, I yield any positive results. Said the Afro Fro Asia new mono. Now when the Afro Fro be bring now, I now the two year. I can't send be bring. I refer NPP amano ko no the chance of winning. NDC is what can hold them. Now yenye bring yango. Now yango change in some way or the two year nebi emra. Unchermanting walks away from the New Patriotic Party, starts his own uh, movement for uh, change, and then speaks to um, the national interest movement led by uh, the former CPP uh, flag bearer, Dr. Abu Sakara Foster, to form an alliance ahead of the 2024 elections. How did you see this uh, anywhere in your in your crystal ball? No, you know this morning my friend place said Alexa Martin is likely to be the uh, running mate to either Abu Sakara or Trabosum. Now yesterday evening, when that statement came out, you know, Abu Sakara is head of national interest movement. Mm -hmm. He issued a statement last night that the Alliance group, the Alliance, is yet to select the leader. Mm -hmm. This morning, when my paper came out, Ohinjo reaches out to me that the Alliance has already decided that Alan should be the flag bearer. As somebody said, when it is coming, it is doing a ban. Mm -hmm. You see the confusion there already? Mm -hmm. I had the basis I said he's likely to be the running mate is that Abu Sakara and uh, Chalabosum and Bruce had contested national presidential elections before. You are like you are novice in terms of national elections. But Abu Sakara last night, the statement he put on the various main platforms of which I'm a member, he said the alliance has not decided who should be the flag bearer and running mate. Mm. First of all, this morning, the paper comes out, I'm on WhatsApp with him, so he said the alliance has already decided that alliance should be the flag bearer. So, early days yet, but it tells you what is likely to happen. Mm. I mean, uh, if 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 an alliance is being formed, and I mean you've watched our elections uh, as, all the way, you, you've been practicing for you know more than four decades, um, so you've seen the various evolution or iterations of our democracy. Um, I he, can I can speak. You say, okay, please go ahead. You know, I was just saying that I, I can only point to what I've observed since nineteen ninety two. 
uh, where the whole idea of alliances started. I'm sure it predates that time. But have they been successful and have they been um, a way by which a true force in the politics is created in Ghana? I think that uh, it is going to be kind of difficult. If my memory serves me right, uh, apart from NBC, MPP, only one other candidate, independent or for a smaller party, had gotten beyond 1%. That was the Tando, National Reform Party. He got 1.1%. The nearest person to get to 1% was Hindu, who got 0.99%. So it tells you that, yes, maybe somebody will attend a smaller party's uh, rally. But on the day, he says, oh, let's say me vote. I will spoil my vote. And he votes for the NDC or MPP. So it's going to be, I know that, you know, there are a few, there is somebody I've interviewed, one of the candidates who wants to be independent. And he's just, his tagline is that Ghanaians should vote for him to push it to a runoff. And he will support the candidate who hasn't got enough seats in parliament. You know, I mean, if you look this year, the executive and the legislature, it, it has not been as So the executive has taken cognizance of the fact that they have only one vote margin. So there'll be a bit more cooperation between them and the opposition, you know. So it's kind of going to be uh, difficult uh, for a third force. Maybe if you get two or three independent candidates who are strong enough because if I'm advise anybody, I think they're sort of forming a party, paying rent for offices, hiring people, turn out the money, go independent. If you get two or three strong independent candidates, and cumulatively they get three, four percent, we head for a runoff. You know? so that could be the only way. But in terms of parties and so on, I mean, I, I don't think that there can be any strong third party on the line for the next few years. And while well, you say next few years, I was just about to ask you, looking beyond the impending elections this year, um, could an alliance such as this uh, be able to grow in strength over time and, and challenge the two dominant parties? Oh, I think that, uh, for example, there are quite an amount of scenarios. For example, if, for example, uh, John Muhammad loses and he intends to go again, for example, I mean, that could rock the foundations of the NDC because those for 2028, uh, there are quite a number of formidable people who are interested. And I, I understand that is one of the reasons why they didn't pick any of them and settle for Pop Nana. Because if you have take one of those who are targeted 2028, there are the others who work against his ticket. But if he go with the one, the younger person he has picked as running mate to get an advantage or something. Because, for example, if John loses and he decides that he will contest again, he is still relatively young, he will be 70 then. You know, uh, that will shake the foundations of the party. But the two parties, I kind of quite strong. That is the only thing I see. Or if two or three people decide, but you see the way the smaller parties are getting three hundred thousand votes uh, nationally, two hundred thousand uh, or hundred and eight thirty-eight thousand. I mean, these are small numbers. So these are. I mean, let's see the outcome of the elections. Let's see what unfolds. And then perhaps two or three independent candidates, if they get average of 2.5, 7%, apart from these two parties, will always head it for a runoff. I think that's the next two, three, like that's what I foresee. Mm. I mean, in terms of developments in that space, um, uh, 
uh, and and for the lack of a better expression, the search of a third force. Um, what do you make of uh, the new force um, and, and the waves that the leader is making? I'll be surprised if he gets one percent. Really, you, you don't think his yeah. uh, his his uh, um, campaign is uh, resonating? You know, um, what is he appealing to? The youth, the you can have adverts, you can have billboards. What would the people vote for? People will attend your rallies. People will respond to you on social media. Will that reflect in vote? I mean, if Sada gets 2%, I would think he has done well. Given the fact that political parties have contested towards elections and nobody has caused 1%. You get me. So if Sada gets 2%, I would say he has done very well. First year, not a well-organized structure. Getting 2%, he would have done well. If he just opposed it against political parties, he's been in existence at least 12 years, and they've not neared 1%. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Yes. So that is the basis. Mm. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, uh, as one would say, we live to see. Uh, Mr. Epstein, we're grateful for your time this morning and as always, uh, sound insights uh, into uh, the much. analysis. Thank Have a good day. Are. Anas, so yes, even sir. political parties mm -hmm. that have been around and have structures, 1% mm -hmm. cry, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's a fact, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> because um, if you check the partnership in terms of um, a superior record, in general elections, I think Abu Sakara Foster Doctor is uh, he has more experience compared to uh, Alan Chamantin going into this particular elections because he contested as running mate to Indum in 2008, mm -hmm. and when Indum uh, broke away from the CPP to form the PPP. He got the opportunity to be elected flag bearer to lead the CPP in 2012. And uh, at the time, his running mate was uh, Nana Poma, who is now leading the CPP as we speak. But you also look at his experience in those two elections, what he has done, and later he formed the movement. What has been his track record? I mean, uh, Dr. Abu Sakara, what has been his track record? He came in as running mate at the time when Indum was um, flag bearer. The party won mm -hmm. one parliamentary um, seat. Was that the Jomoro seat, right? Y yes, so that was uh, Samia. Yeah. Samia. And they had over 1%. Indum had over 1%. Mm -hmm. Fast forward 2012 when um, Abu Sakara took over, he could not get. 1% mm -hmm. of the vote. What that means is that his popularity did not help. The fortunes of the CPP had dipped. And since then, he has not been that active in the political space of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So if the two of them are coming together, look at the result of Alan Chamantin in the MPP elections. Mm -hmm. Can beat him, hands down. It shows that in terms of hook, in terms of cloud, mm -hmm. he doesn't have. So this particular movement coming together, highly likely not to trouble the fortunes of the two big elephants, except the fact that they decide to gather resources and not go to any other part of the country but go back to Ashanti region and campaign. Concentrate on in the Ashanti region and target a particular, um, you know, a, a particular number of, number of votes. Okay. Knowing very well that, look, we, we, we want 20,000 votes from the Ashanti region. Mm. We are not going to expand and waste resources in other places 
this is our target and once that happens the motive of the alliance will be clear at least to